Dealing with persistent kidney or gallstone formation can be absolutely brutal and feel like sharp stabbing pains in your torso. If this is a thing that you've been dealing with and haven't really quite found a solution to solve this problem yet, well, I'm going to give it to you. And I'm going to give you a variety of things that you can implement. You can either use all of them or just a few. Stay tuned. The kidney stones or gallstones are indications of other issues, more chronic long-term issues that you've been developing. Insulin resistance, some degree of fatty liver disease, high blood pressure, and elevated cholesterol, specifically LDLC. You might look on a blood test and see that you have excessively high levels of calcium built up inside your blood. You might see some atherosclerotic plaque buildup potentially as well. If you're a man, you might be experiencing some erectile dysfunction. Okay, but these are some of the other issues that you may not have even knew you've had. So this is a metabolic issue. Now there are five alkalizing minerals. Calcium, magnesium, potassium, manganese, and iron. Now, these alkalizing minerals are deployed by your body in order to combat excessive acid formation. Acid, essentially, are waste products that your body either has to recycle into something usable or excrete it from your body in a variety of ways, particularly through your kidneys. There are things that you can use in order to offset the calcium because the calcium is coming from, is being leached from your bone tissue, your muscle tissue, and your vital organ tissues. And over time as this persists, this can lead to numbness, pain, edema, neuropathy, muscular fatigue, and just a complete deterioration of your brain chemistry and mental and emotional well-being. In order to preserve a healthy level of calcium inside those vital organ tissues and bone tissue and skeletal muscle tissue, well, you can increase the amount of these alkalizing minerals that you get from your diet or even supplementation. Number one on the list would be something like magnesium. Now, magnesium helps to shuttle that calcium back into those vital organ tissues, as well as neutralize that acid accumulation. This will bring down your blood pressure. This helps to improve insulin sensitivity, increase the synthesis of testosterone, free testosterone, and improve overall kidney health. So magnesium pretty much is a cofactor in every metabolic and enzymatic process in your body. Some top magnesium rich foods would be things like hemp seeds, chia seeds, flax seeds, pumpkin seed kernels, sunflower seed kernels, oats, lentils, or any legumes in general, as well as whole grains. If we're talking about a raw vegan diet, then you would mainly be getting your magnesium from your leafy greens, nuts, and seeds. Secondly, there's an option, or an amino acid in particular, called malic acid. Malic acid is actually found in high concentrations in fruits. Things like cherries, a variety of different berries, apples, grapes, grapefruit, oranges, or any citrus fruit in general, and even bananas. Malic acid has a variety of different benefits, all from improving your hair, skin, and nails, improving your digestive tract and healing your intestines, as well as helping to neutralize and flush excess acid accumulation out of your cells, which also grants relief to your kidneys. You can even combine that malic acid with magnesium in a supplement form. It's called magnesium malate, essentially magnesium chelated with malic acid. 
Now the magnesium malate is very good. It's also if you have digestive issues, frequent gas, bloating, pain from damage in your intestines, that sort of thing. So this could be a good supplement to take, let's say two grams per day, preferably in the early morning or early afternoon. The final amino acid I'll mention here is citrulline. Now citrulline is a naturally occurring non-essential amino acid that you get from a variety of different foods. For example, beets, cucumber, and watermelon. Citrulline is a precursor to arginine. Arginine increases nitric oxide levels in your body, resulting in something called vascular dilation. So you get more blood oxygenation, you get more hydration, and you get an expansion of your vascular system, making for better blood flow. This improves weight loss, muscle building, this improves erection quality or helps to reverse erectile dysfunction and also leads towards higher levels of free testosterone and lower levels of chronic inflammation in your body or chronic oxidative stress. Now this citrulline neutralizes uric acid and ammonia that can be built up inside your cells and inside your liver contributing to the damage and oxidative stress on your liver. So you can get better liver health as well as kidney health by adding citrulline into your diet or into your body through supplementation. As far as supplementation goes, my ideal one is combining the citrulline and the malic acid together in the form of citrulline malate. In particular, I'm talking about citrulline malate at a two to one ratio, okay? now. Those is a good supplement that you can use together. Personally, what I use it, and I use about nine grams a day. So that's basically three scoops with each scoop typically being around three grams of that citrulline malate. And that serves as a natural pre-workout for me. Now it has a tangy, lemony flavor. So you can add it into water and add a drop of stevia for some sweetness and it actually tastes like lemonade. I recommend more of a food-based approach, meaning that the overwhelming majority of your solution to your problem is pursued through an abundance of foods that are geared towards correcting that issue. Supplementation should be something that is used to fill in the gaps. Hit the link in the description box below to book a call with me or sign up for personal coaching. Like, share, and subscribe for more high raw vegan plant-based diet tips.